It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. What is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of... He's gone for it! Goal! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And it's got through. Cuts it out. Busai. Gets it back. He's pinged one through here. Striding forward, facing goal. Shooting chance! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Good take, and he's... And the shot! Sticks it away! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback, and this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go one better, possibly. Good header! Good delivery, but no joy. Now that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Boy, sit forward. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. Good challenge, excellent challenge. And he heaves it forward. Back to the keeper and try something new. Keeper's got good distance on that. Natko, Kyle, and he's made sure that that won't get through, and he's there to cut it out.
Husai. Natko, Zahavi, he's had a goal! Goal, Israel! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Israel take the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Husai. Is there any... He's had a shot! He's scored! Well, this is a terrific show of resilience and spirit. I love to see a team roll up their sleeves and force their way back. Superb. That really is quite fabulous, all his own doing. Yeah, I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. So all square and not for the first time. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Played out to the right. Hits one! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Sahavi. Breaks on here. Gets away from his opponents. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And he's whipped it in low. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Gets the better of his man. He's still going. Where to next? There are a few waiting for it. Turns and goes back. Goes for goal! A really close shave and the last action of the first half. And it has been a pretty crazy game so far. The game played out in extraordinary fashion. And the score was oh, the call, Peter, isn't it? I mean... From what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Quite a half. More of the same, please. Score at the interval, 2-2. He's gone for it! And some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scruff of the neck. And his immense talent, they just have done exactly that and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. Well, uh, he was never going to miss from there. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? His second of the game and an eye now for the hat-trick. Israel go into the lead. Some 
Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Tries a shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way inclined. Natko. And it's played forward. Played in with accuracy. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Husai. So can they find a way to turn round this deficit? Husai. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Zahavi spreads it towards the left. Played into space out wide. And the keeper's in command. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. Forward it goes. And back to base. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Now it's Matko. Plays it out to the wing. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. <laughs> Matt Cole plays it out to the flank. There's a real appetite from them to find... Yeah, he's failed him there. <laughs> he's got it on the right now. What's on? It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Quick glance at goal. Looks to drop one in. Massive leap! So close to drawing level. Yeah, he was just a little too eager to get his chance away there, and it could have level matters. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Kyle. Now it's Sahavi. Well, if something's going to happen, it's going to have to happen now. All they need is one big chance. Going for goal! <laughs> he 
He's tried one. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Chance to break. Israel certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Time is desperately short now, but it is a corner. Hoists it forward. Deep into stoppage time. Looking to hit the front line. And the referee brings it to a close. Quite a game, memorable for its fluctuation in fortunes and astonishing turnaround. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Albania just didn't have enough time, Peter, to correct their many problems in this match. Now for some training ground graft.